And this is all mostly run by volunteers, you're saying? Yes. So what is the process for that, for, for somebody, if they said, you know, I, I want to be involved in that, mm -hmm. what does that look like? Do they have training? Or? Oh, absolutely. Yeah, we thoroughly screen the volunteers. So I just went through a process like that here, up in Port Perry. And um, so they do apply, and I'll just do run through some general questions that I have. Um, and then if it sounds like it's something for them, then I meet with them. Yeah. Um, and we do go through other questions. You know, sometimes there may be family history, there may be lived experience. And as long as they are, you know, feeling healthy now, that's kind of a plus because obviously they can empathize then with yeah. the clients, right? Uh, you don't have to have any mental health experience uh, or education necessarily. Yeah, I can um, imagine it would be intimidating even for, mm -hmm. for the volunteers of like you want sure. to help, but you know, who am I to help, yeah. right? Of like you're breaking yeah. down that. Yes, like, and that's the kind of things we talk about. So having that uh, empathic sort of personality, um, being able to be non judgmental or at least. Uh, not um, act upon your judgment, let's say, okay? Um, being open-minded, um, you know, and accepting of different lifestyles that people choose to have. That's mm -hmm. very important because there's all, all types of people out there today, right? Mm -hmm. um, you know, once we've gone through that and there's kind of a, it looks like it's a personality fit, um, then they would go and do our training.